This video will show you how to use a special block called state rep in your CFC configuration to detect different operating states in the process. Each detected operating state is assigned to a specific previously created enumeration. Three main tasks are required to set up automatic smart alarm hiding. These tasks have been divided into three videos. First, enumerations have to be created to represent the different operating states of the process. Next, we need to add and configure a special block to detect these different operating states and associate them with the new enumerations. Finally, the alarm messages to be hidden are selected in process object view and are tested in OS runtime. In this particular video, we'll learn how to mark alarms for automatic alarm hiding based on a particular operating state using process object view. We will also look at the results in PCS7 OS runtime. Now let's open process object view by clicking the view menu. Select process object view. Expand the plant view list at the left side of the process object view all the way down to reactor R310's heat folder. Select the heat folder to limit the results on the right. In this example, there are two charts shown, TICA315, which contains the alarm messages that were identified for automatic alarm hiding, and state rep, which associates these alarms with operating states created earlier and available in process object view. Select the messages tab. Only the messages associated with the heat folder are shown. In this example, only the TICA315 chart has blocks that contain messages. Let's scroll to the event column so it will be easier to identify the message. Selecting a column header will sort the list. Notice that status 1 and 2, labeled maintenance and stop, are close enough to the event column to be seen. If, for example, we wanted the first alarm, RBK, low warning limit violated, to be automatically hidden when the operating mode was in stop, then all you need to do is check that alarms box under the stop status. Select any additional messages that need to be hidden during the stop operating state. Multiple messages can be selected by left-clicking and dragging over them, then right-clicking and selecting Set or Reset. The same can be done for any other alarm message to be hidden when in the maintenance mode. For this example, we'll check only the stop status for the PV or process value high warning limit violated, and only the maintenance status for the PV high alarm limit violated. Close process object view and download this OS for the changes to take effect. In the OS runtime, we can now demonstrate automatic smart alarm hiding. First, Let's open the faceplate that represents the stop status by clicking on its block icon, then move the faceplate to a convenient location. Next, open the faceplate that represents the maintenance status and move it.
Finally, open the TICA315 faceplate that contains the alarms configured for automatic smart alarm hiding. We'll move this faceplate as well. Let's pin the faceplates to avoid losing them when we open different pictures. Opening the limit values shows that the high alarm and high warning limits are 190 and 195. Return to the standard view and change the set point to 191. Selecting the messages view shows the high warning message. We'll acknowledge this message so the warning will disappear when the condition goes away. And return to standard view. Change the set point to 189 to remove the high warning condition. We will now simulate a stop operating status by clicking the stop command ellipsis, those three little dots here, selecting the on command, and then the OK button. The operating mode is now set to stop and the high warning message, which is the PB high warning limit violated alarm of the PID control block has been configured to be automatically hidden. Now, if we change the set point to 191, the high warning message does not show. However, if I open the messages view, the high warning message does show. With hidden system added to the status column, return to the standard view. From the alarm logging hidden alarm list picture, you can see all hidden alarms. Selecting the alarm message and clicking the show message light bulb will unhide the message and return it to the incoming alarm list. Returning the set point back to 189 will remove the alarm condition, but will still require an acknowledgement to remove the alarm. Let's take the operating mode out of stop and into maintenance mode. Now, changing the set point to 196 will exceed the high warning and high alarm limit. The incoming alarm list shows the PV high warning limit violated message because of the high warning limit setting of 190 and that the operating mode is not in stop. Opening the message view of the faceplate shows the PV high alarm limit violated, but with the hidden system text added to the state column. Turning off the maintenance operating mode will move the hidden alarm message back to the incoming alarm list, just like the previous hidden warning message. Returning to the standard view and changing the set point back to 189 will remove the alarm condition, but again, requires an acknowledgement to remove the message completely. Thanks for watching the How to Configure Automatic Smart Alarm Hiding.
process object view. Don't forget to watch how to configure automatic smart alarm hiding part one and part two.